Hi, I'm Celeste and welcome to Find Your Purple. Well, as you might know, I am a realtor by day. And as such, I get to see a lot of homes. So a couple homes that had raised garden beds that basically didn't have anything in it but weeds. And it reminded me of when I first moved to Kyle. I built a raised garden and I grew some tomatoes and different vegetables. And there was a big storm and we had this huge bush of cherry tomatoes and one of my daughters Adriana and I were working were the ones mainly working on the garden but the rainstorm beat the plant down and pretty much destroyed the garden and it broke Adriana's heart and she wouldn't work on the garden after that and the garden pretty much went into disarray and I love the idea of a garden but I guess I just didn't want to do the work involved to keep the weeds out of it and looking at these yards and seeing it over and over again, a lot of people had the same idea. They start off with a great intention. They build gardens, they plant it and all of that, but we underestimate the work that's involved in maintaining a garden. And I admire people that do it and I just think it's really cool, but I want the benefits of the garden, but I don't want to do the work. There's so many things in life we tend to look at someone who has a great body, but you don't want to do that. They have exercise it takes to get it, or someone that has perfect landscaping, but then they're out two hours a day working in the garden. A lot of good things take work, and you have to make a commitment. So you have to decide in your life what the priorities are. And I think that's with a relationship with God or building your faith you can't just do it. I think many of us may go into it or with the best of intentions, but we're not willing to do the work. So someone might go to a event and feel the spirit and get all excited and emotional and all that and turn themselves over to God and then a few months later nothing else has changed. Or another person in that same event again is transformed and they put the work in and they read the Bible every day and they pray and they build that relationship so that down the road they really have a relationship with God. So I'm hoping and praying that my experience with the Bible and my faith will not go the way of that garden that I let go when I found out it was too much work to maintain. I'm eight months in reading the Bible every morning and taking my prayer time. Now I'm doing my worship walk and really trying to make sure that God has a priority in my life. So I'm hoping I'm going to see the benefits of that garden and see the flowers blooming at some point in my faith garden. So I don't have a green thumb in the way of real plants and cherry tomatoes maybe, but I'm hoping I'll have a green thumb when it comes to building a relationship with God. So I wonder if any of others of you has started a garden and let it go to seed, but now are looking at building a garden of faith and weeding it and tending to it and watering it so that we can have the benefit of the harvest. That's it for today. As always, grab your cup of tea, sit back, and let's start sharing. Until next time, bye-bye.